All right, let's get this going. And welcome back to the second half. Uh, I was going to watch Craze and Drops a Beat, but he seems to be AFK. So we'll watch a Mike TSTL, and uh, his avatar is a St. Louis Cardinals avatar. And I'm actually wearing my St. Louis Cardinals t-shirt right now, but one of the many I have. So huge shout-out shout out to Mike TSTL um, and the St. Louis Cardinals. If you're not American, you don't know that's baseball, and you don't know the amazingness that is baseball. So I feel sorry for you, bro. Um, of course, just my European viewers, probably. Anyway, we're going to watch right here as the teams did switch places. Remember, Swordfish Trombones is up 3 nothing, and Terrabang is now in red, and they have to come back and win four in a row to win this match. It's going to be so, so difficult, but uh, absolutely possible. Oh, here's some crit stickies coming in. But uh, Wicket went down immediately right there. Allison uh, does stay alive in order to pop hers. Uh, not going to be able to connect with too much right there. Oh, these grits just not uh, connecting, not doing what the teams want them to do. And really, they're not getting um, the, capa the, the, the full potential of, of demos on Lakeside uh, right here. We uh, will watch some uh, ma Mom in Your Lasagna. Which, by the way, it feels like a terrible thing if my mom is in your lasagna. I, I don't have any more comments on that. But uh, I've been told they haven't getting enough heavy cam, so we're going to try to do some more heavy cam. We'll also try to get some more blue soldier cam, so I'm doing um, two at once right there. My mom and your lasagna getting that kill instead of the spun up heavy double dragon. Uh, has got to be sad about that. Uh, we'll take down a deacon, though, as a try deacon tried to go for the stab in the bathhouse. As we hold on, so for the first time, no, I think, oh, it was a big stab, or a big stab coming there from Stumpy the Raccoon, right, we did have a change in Spy for Interrobang, Stumpy the Raccoon, um, which, which seems like it'd be really cute, a Stumpy Raccoon, um, but regardless, <laughs> he is now on Spy, oh, my mom and the designer going down, Deacon, who is on Spy as well, has been doing some good work, you see both Spies actually up there in points right now, but Deacon does finally get finished off, um, well, let's see. We There we go. Some blue soldier action. Let's see what a front horde enemy can do. Uh, I'd like to think he has like an instruction tag on him that says front horde enemy, but it uh, does not appear to be the case. We do have that crits popped, and on the heavy, interestingly enough, um, Anti-San as well, I think it was a little bit... Um, a, a little tossed around right there, but uh, regardless, that will uh, carve out some room for a blue to push onto the point in a terrabang. No! Swordfish! Grrr! Of course they switch sides, which is... I mean, I guess... It's a, it's an important thing on Lakeside. You don't see a lot of teams doing it, uh, because Lakeside... Well, I guess you do. But Lakeside, of course, is mirrored, so it will um, change up the rollouts, it will change up the way you defend, and all that um, kind of stuff. So, I mean, I guess it, it's completely legit to uh, to switch right there. Alright, so we have a little a delay, a little pause, as in Bang did lose the point, but uh, they only have a minute left, so they're just biding their time, needed to get up a crits or something. However, speaking of crits, we do have a blue team, that is Swordfish, with that crits spy going down right in front of the medic. That's something that is super scary to see. We do have these crit stickies coming off. Uh, can andy -san connect with anyone? And it actually doesn't look like he did. Uh, so a little bit of a failed crits right there. Not going to be happy about that. But uh, he medic survived, so um, that's pretty much all you can ask for. Um, even if it crits, it doesn't get the kills you want to. Just get that medical life and out of there. Oh, Wicked Dud did just go down, though. Some um, nice aggression coming from Interrobang. And they will be pushed off the point and out of their little nest right here. Somebody's got to get the dispenser. We absolutely know that's the most important part. <laughs> so a nice push right there from... There we go. I want to get a double dragon camp because he was doing some nice defense. So a nice push right there from Interrobang. Uh, did not know there was a spy dancing on his head. That's super awkward. <laughs> but uh, we'll see if Interrobang can hold on. They absolutely have to if they want this match to go anywhere further. Deacon getting double dragon down in the bathhouse. So that's going to be a little bit harder with no heavy for these um, remainder of seconds. Of course, spawn time's not terribly, terribly long here on Lakeside. So Double Dragon will be able to get up in time to help his team defend. Um, but again, this is it. Well, not completely it because Swordfish still has 140 left on the clock to 
come back and get. Let's see. Oh, we got another derpy sniper battle. Oh, how was that? Again, the STV, um, the you know the demo that I cast from, uh, is never really like perfect on aim. Whatever stuff. Okay, so we do have uh, crits popped on double dragon coming in. Perfect timing. Uh, they just need to stay alive on this point. It's going to be difficult because there's a spy who can't stay. Team seem to be taken down, but doesn't matter. Terabang comes back, and it is three to one. Kind of a messy round right there. Not as um, pretty as we've seen other rounds be, but it was effective for Interrobang. And they just need to do three more of those in a row. Uh, we will see if they can. Let's uh, take a look at scores. Stumpy the Raccoon is winning right now. Allison is finally up there in points, so she has been staying alive. Um, so it's probably turning around and uh, getting some more support from her friends. With a little help from her friends, she can survive and um, probably write a song about it for the Beatles. Crazy and Drops of Beat does go down right there as Intero Bang not able to get the presence they need on the point. Oh, I don't like this positioning right here from Intero Bang. Uh, Wicked is going to have this crits incredibly soon, and I don't feel good about Allison surviving this, but doesn't matter. Wicked goes down to who else? My mom and your lasagna. The crits does come off from Intero Bang. Uh, not going to be able to connect with anybody, but doesn't matter. They did a great job pushing Blue off the point, reverting time right now, and they probably will be able to cap this. Mike STL, meanwhile, trying to get a spy that he can't see, but he's going to patrol these battlements like we've seen, been seeing these soldiers do, which I really like. We'll see if he can take a down a front toward enemy. A front toward enemy does eventually go down. Crazen dropped the beats. Beat. Crazen drops the beat. He just dropped one beat, guys. It's okay. He didn't drop all the beats. Just one. I was thinking it was like a beat like a drum beat, but he could be dropping... Oh, beats spelled as food is different. Beats as food is spelled differently. Anyway, so he's still patrolling these battlements, uh, shutting down a Sniper right here. We'll see if he can't finish off. No, can't get the end of uh, the Custodian right now. Custodian is super hurt. We'll have to fall back. And again, he's still alive. And this is going to really prevent Blue from pushing forward, from able to get, being able to do anything. They are pushing forward, but if they don't get Mike, it's gonna... It, there we go! See Medic going down immediately! Oh, he runs... Oh, the stupid black box! Not enough rockets to finish off the heavy right there, but doesn't matter. Got the Medic, so uh, it's a nice patrolling right there. Finally catching up. Uh, Spy! Oh, man. Stumpy got, does get caught out right there. Actually, body shot by the Custodian. Um, Unfortunate, but uh, that's what you get for being a sneaky, dirty spy. And uh, as we see, both soldiers are bottom in points, but um, like we saw Mike doing, he was doing some huge work. It's just not reflected in points. But uh, being that flank behind the medic and getting that medic pick um, uh, is something that's just not reflected in points, which is frustrating, but at the same time, uh, what, how, how would you be able to score that? I mean, I guess... If you scored it like ice skating or something, <laughs> I don't know. But Intero Bang barely holding on to this point right now. Uh, it looks like we will have the cap from Swordfish Trombones. They will probably not be able to hold on to this long as Allison is close to her Chris right here. And there is the call. She will pop it on her demo man. We'll see if. Uh, Oh, Medic is just standing still right there. Wicked goes crazy down. Bond getting those huge stickies. Uh, he does stay alive and keeps his Medic alive as well. And that's about as perfect a crits as you can see. Only two up right now for uh, Swordfish Trombones. And that's exactly what Interrobang needs right now. And uh, that's going to put him in a good position to defend. Only a minute left. Let's take a look at scores real quick. Um, a little more normal this time around, but as you can see, my mom and your lasagna is still up there in points, which is so silly, but so awesome. I, uh, I'm gonna need to take some engineer lessons from my mom and your lasagna. Uh, love it. Absolutely love what he is doing out here. Alright, so, uh, okay. I'm gonna stop with the NG love. I promise we'll, uh, we'll get some actual action. Oh, a spy in behind, and Stumpy the Raccoon, who's been doing crazy amounts of work as well, does get that backstab. We'll see. Oh, but Deacon has been doing some work too, on his own. And remember, 20 seconds left, and it's do or die every single round for Interrobang. They went 3-0, I mean 0-3 in the first half, so gotta get a ton of uh, 
Momentum going in here. Oh, Deacon getting the pick on Double Dragon. Will that be enough to get Blue in here? Um, that will, yes, they will be able to get in here. Hey, my mama new Sonia is taking down Eddie. Is that going to be enough? No, it looks like Swordfish Trombones will be able to cap right here just in the nick of time. However, they have to hold on for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Long time. I don't like this. I don't like crouching in the corner and hiding. That uh, makes you so vulnerable. We've seen these spies that do crazy things and uh, demos getting those crits. I mean, of course, there's no charge ready right now, but I just I just don't like it. Keep moving as a medic. Gotta keep moving. And uh, there we go. And there we go. I don't know. I was... <laughs> there we go for absolutely nothing. We'll see if Deacon can do something right here. Um, seems like somebody did bump, so they know he's around. Um, but uh, this... Going for the sap instead of the engineer, but I, I say it. I say when you're battling a crazy battle engineer like my mom and your lasagna, you go for the engineer instead of the mini sentry because my mom and your lasagna has been doing amazing amounts of work and damage for his team right now. All right, so a minute has gone by and Intera Bang has not made their push. They are custodian getting shot there on the platypus, and so I don't know what they're. I mean, they're obviously waiting for their medic and their numbers to get up and possibly a crits, but uh, it's not... I, I don't know, I think... I think they need to do this, uh... Get a little more aggression, get a little more aggressive right here. Uh, finally, we do have somebody on the point, um, but doesn't last for long. Terror Bang is just having a hard time staying alive, and that's absolutely critical, of course, that they stay alive in these last few seconds. Uh, finally, they do get some support on the point, but not enough, and they're just instantly mowed down right there by Pete, the heavy from Swordfish Trombones, who I have uh, actually not been specking a lot, so let's get on his cam. There we go, as he tries to defend this. Allison is about 90% crits, so if she can get this, this could be huge. Some well-placed crit stickies uh, could absolutely take this round for Interrobang. Allison does pop it. Instead, it's going to be on the heavy. Oh, Double Dragon taking down Aegisan, taking down Pete. Oh, we'll see if he can't clean up anymore. He's having a ton of trouble with Akka right now, but it is going to finally go in his direction. Uh, taking down this scout as well. Everybody from Blue is piling onto the point, and that just plays right into Double Dragon's uh, plan of action. And there we go. Two, oh, two rounds in a row for a tarot bang. Uh, if they can pull off two more <laughs> rounds in a row, they may have a ch I mean, they'll win this. I did not think they'd have a chance at all. But uh, we will see. <laughs> Absolutely crazy round right there. Let's check scores real quick. And um, my mom and the Zanya, come on. Middle of the pack? What are you, an NG on, on King of the Hill? You're not going here. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop making fun of him. Um, but, yeah, looks pretty average. Deacon has been doing some crazy mental work. We'll try to get um, Spy Cam in here as well. Who have we not specced a lot? And uh, who deserves it is the question. Stumpy the Raccoon, probably, who came in second half and has been just... Um, Really helping his team out right there. So far, nobody capping the point. Oh, we have the crits coming down. A bond not going to I mean, connect with anything right there. Somehow, the crit stickies were not able to connect anyway. Um, but Allison stays alive, so there we go. That's the important part. Wicket goes down, so Allison's gonna have a nice advantage. A terror bang capping first. I'll uh, see if Snappa can do this all by himself, but uh, no, just a right click. And uh, Bond just completely obliterates him. Angie san has been a very strong demo. We've seen some nice work out of him, but uh, taking a ton of damage from the mini sentry. And then my mom and your lasagna just turns around and one shot, and he's out. Mom and your lasagna taking out uh, Scout as uh, well. I demo, maybe. I don't know. That all happened so fast, and the kill feed was going so fast. I was not able to follow that. But there we go. We do have. Uh, more aggression from Interrobang. Again, we can see um, Mike is pushing up far as a soldier. He did... No, he's still alive. We have 100% 100% up right now as uh, the crits went off for Interrobang. They... I don't know... I mean, this is the this is the standard um, position to hold right here when you have the point that we see I see a lot of times during platinum matches. 
Uh, again, these guys are steel, so they know what they're doing. However, you have got to protect your medic. You have got to s keep her alive, which is what we're seeing right now. Um, where did Double Dragon go? You need the heavy there, and there we go, just as I say that. Um, soldiers should be up here roaming on the battlements. That's exactly what he's doing. This is textbook right now from Terabang. So, um, really nice work. For some reason they're falling back. I say keep it up. They actually probably heard that call from Wicket, so they need to scatter in order to um, survive this crit. So, will definitely be coming down soon. And... We do have the pop. Where is Red, though? They are nowhere to be found. We just have one scout who's, uh, oh, they're in the bathhouse. Uh, crits was popped. Uh, Allison goes down. Angie-san got those crit stickies first, and that's going to be huge play right there from Swordfish. So really well played from Swordfish trombones, and they do finally cap the point. <laughs> oh, ouch. That's, uh, that's all sorts of ouch right there. <laughs> Uh, so finally a good play, not finally a good play, but a good play that finally allows uh, Swordfish Trombones to push up. Let's see what type of offensive uh, or defensive positioning they do. And look how far that uh, red is just being aggressive right now. So blue is not going to be able to hold him at the point where a terror bag was holding uh, Swordfish just a few seconds ago, and uh, that's going to make it that much easier for Interrobang to cap this point, which I do anticipate them doing relatively soon because there's just no source of blue presence on the point. Um, they are gathered around the dispenser, which just goes down, and uh, here is the cap by Interrobang. So there we go, Interrobang playing very well this round, and we'll see if that can continue again. Their life is on the lines. Uh, it is three to two. They came back from a ridiculous uh, first half. Uh, here comes the crits. They've been popping it on Double Dragon lately, which is really interesting. Uh, different strategy than the first half, which um, looks like <laughs> you can't argue with results. We do have a pop on the enemy heavy right now. Oh, a little ring around the rosy. Double Dragon somehow surviving that. Uh, still alive. Can't manage to take out, finally takes out Snappa, but needs to turn around because in comes the Demoman. But, oh, he does go down, but my mama and your lasagna is there to clean up Angie-san. My mama and your lasagna protecting the point. Uh, sentry gun will go down, Akam getting um, that sentry. Only two up, though, right now for Swordfish. It's, it's going to be so hard for them to come back and take this. They, uh, well, they don't have... They have it still. Okay, now they're going to lose it, so they need to come back and take it. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to do so. Allison is at 80%, meaning she's going to have that crit very soon. Popped on Double Dragon on the point, and there's just absolutely nothing that Swordfish will be able to do about that. That uh, is probably what we're going to see right now. Allison needs to stay alive. Looks like they're actually going to go for a flank. No, they're just going to stay in the bathhouse right now, stay alive. But uh, here is the push where is that crits they were going for this flank i don't know if i agree with this they need to get on this point and clear it off oh in comes deacon with the stab allison goes down from behind angie san coming in getting the flank on the flank and that was not the uh, play that interrobang should have been doing right there they need to stick on the point with what they had that 100 percent crits uh should not have been trying to do anything tricky right there but swordfish definitely want to take advantage of this only three up okay well red just got those respawns and, uh, whew, losing my voice. Losing my voice. <laughs> but, uh, one minute and 40 seconds left is plenty of time for Interrobang to come back. They are not feeling rushed right now, even though they misplayed that last defensive push. Or, not defensive push, that defensive hold, I guess is the word for that. Although you can have defensive pushes. Uh, my mom and the Rizanya doing some nice work. Um... Again, only middle in the points right now, and uh, was doing crazy amounts of damage and getting crazy amounts of points. He's gonna go for a flank right here. I love it. I love it. Shh, be quiet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll see if he can't do anything. Oh, time is ticking down, so he can't afford to be too clever right here. Oh, uh, Dika takes him out, found him out. Uh, 60 seconds left, and Terrabang cannot afford a fail push right now. They do have this 100% uh, crits. Allison took a ton of damage. We'll need to get the sandwich. Oh, but the heavy gobbled it up again. Oh, spy in on Allison. Can't get it, though. Crazen drops the beats and uh, takes down Deacon, and all Red has to do is capture this, and there we go. It is 3-3. Three to three. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the score is three to three, and uh, we will go to 
I, I'm not sure. I guess we have to switch teams right now. So that means we will uh, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 